We have so much fun at the beach today. Is that fun? Is that fun? Mm -hmm. Beach. <laughs> there good morning didn't see you there today I think I am reviewing what might be the coolest piece of tech or at least at least the most fun piece of tech that I've ever reviewed on this channel and it's in this backpack it's not a camera it's not a drone it's totally different in this backpack is a a fully self-contained dive system I can dive underwater for over an hour at 10 feet deep with with just what's in this backpack. And the whole thing weighs about 10, 15 pounds and it's airline friendly, which means I can take it traveling. Before I get it open, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell so you know when more videos are coming out and do all the YouTubery that you do so well. Okay, I'm gonna walk through everything that's in this backpack. This is the, this is the Nemo from Blue, but but the E is a three. So if you go on their website, make sure that you don't type B-L-U-E. Make sure you type BLU3. I don't know. But the Nemo is a fully contained self dive system. It's an electric compressor based hookah dive system. So I can go underwater for over an hour and, and just hang out down there. <laughs> it's the coolest. I got to try it out at Lake Powell and it was super fun at Lake Powell, but unfortunately there's not a lot to see at Lake Powell. There's a few fish, but it's pretty murky in general. Today though, we're going down to La Jolla Shores. So first I'm gonna show you guys what's in the backpack, how the whole system kind of looks and works and the setup of it. And then, and then we're gonna go dive with some fish in La Jolla. Maybe we'll see a seal or two, probably seals, and maybe a shark. Sometimes there's leopard sharks down there. I like swimming with sharks. It's cool, but I don't know. I'll be by myself. Makes me a little nervous. Okay, let's see what's in here, and, and I'm gonna break it down. Everything that's in the backpack, everything that comes with the kit, and then I'll show you, I'll show you the setup, because the setup is like super fast. All right, let's get this all laid out. The very first thing in this back, first off, check this backpack out. The backpack keeps your dive flag pole up here, and then everything, everything is in here like a camera bag. So you just undo this strap, Bink. This is the, the float, the inner tube for the dive system. Here's my cool little dive flag so I look really official out there and people know that I'm underwater and they don't run over me with a boat. Here's the actual unit itself and here is the hookah system. Your batteries and chargers go on the side and these batteries I think are they're somewhere like 70 or 74 watt hours which means that they can go on airplanes. Anything over 100 watt hours I think it is can't go on airplanes, but these can go on airplanes. So this whole backpack I could carry onto a plane, go to Hawaii and go swim with turtles. I'm very excited for this guys. All right, so in here, just pop this guy out. This is the, the actual unit itself. It's already hooked up to the hookah system. And then you pull the hookah system out and there's your there's your 10 foot hookah. This piece right here is a is a harness system that I'll show you in a second. And then and then this is where the real magic happens. This is the smart rag. I'll tell you about this in a second as well. Okay, so here's the basic setup. This thing sits on top of the water floating in its floating in the inner tube. The air compressor floats in the inner tube on top of the water while you go underwater. You've got the the smart rag in your mouth. And then, and then you just breathe and it pumps you air from the surface down to where you're at. To show you though, why this one in particular is, is a little special or, or why it's more special than other options that are out there, I'm gonna do a full setup for you guys. This is, this is just the dive flag. All right, so setup is, it's ridiculously simple. First thing you do is, is you get this harness because you want this harness on your body. The whole idea is that the harness is on you and then this is connected to the harness so that as you swim along and you're pulling the Nemo on the surface, it's not pulling from your mouth, you know? Like if you didn't have a harness, it would be like, <laughs> but with the harness, the harness pulls the Nemo and then and then this just sits in your mouth. Okay, set up real quick. So here's the compressor. Here's the side door bit. You just slide one of these batteries in there. You take off the little cap. Slide this in there and then this at the 90 degree joint just connects super simply. And that's a good sign. Oh yeah. When you hear that, you know the battery is in properly. And that, that right there, now it's waterproof. Now the battery can stay in there, the battery unit, everything else is waterproof now. Next step, super simple, you uh, you blow this thing up and you do that by 
by blowing into this hose. You know like when you're on an airplane and they're like, if we go down in the water, you're gonna put this around your neck and then you're gonna blow into the hose. Don't do that on your neck. Just do it like this. So you push this little bit in at the end and then you just blow this thing up. Whew. That's the hardest part of setup right there. Once you're done, you, you screw this little bit down, that way no air can get out of there. And now you have an inner tube for your compressor. All right, next step is lining these little buckles. Just got a normal, you know, backpack buckle. You align those with the buckles on the side of the unit so that it stays afloat. Down on there, like so. Oh my gosh. I just realized this might be even easier if I don't inflate this first. If I hook it up first and then I were to inflate it, I bet that would be the easier way to do it. Do that and you do it. I'm already committed to this method though. All right, and now, now this is what it looks like. It's a, a big dinghy for this little guy and then this little guy sits in the surface. You wanna make sure that the hookah bit is coming out the bottom. You don't want, you don't want the hookah piece coming out the top like this. Like if you put it on underneath it and the hookah hose was coming out the top, not good. You want it, you want it out the bottom. So this can sit like this and this guy, it comes down to me underneath the water. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, next up, installing the harness or attaching the harness. Also very easy. You just grab this harness bit with the, with the smart rag on your right side and you put it around your neck like that, super easy. And then this strap goes behind your back, comes back around to this side and then clicks here. Boom, smart rag harness bit on, oh, and a sternum strap. Beautiful. All right, that's it. See, this guy is around my back, this guy is around my front, and now this has enough room where I can go, I can breathe through it and I can move my head around. Huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it doesn't pull on this. So when I do this, the harness is gonna pull the Nemo, but this I can just keep breathing. And guys, I'm not kidding you. I'm done. I'm totally set up. This is this is the full setup. I'm ready to go in the water right now. And that's kind of the magic of this thing is that you could have it in a backpack. You could jump out. You're on a trip in Hawaii. This thing's in the back of your Jeep. You see some turtles or you see some dolphins. You hop out of the car. You throw this thing down. Five minutes later, you're in the water, underwater diving with them. I can't wait until we can travel again. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, but here's where the real magic comes in. This is why this unit is, is unique. There's a little twist on the side. I twist this a little bit and now it's on. I wouldn't know that, but it is. Push the little button. <laughs> uh -huh. So there's a sensor inside of the smart rig. It knows when I inhale and it pumps me air. But then when I stop or when I exhale, if I'm being nice and calm, it will stop. So it doesn't just sit on the surface and pump you air constantly. That's why the battery can last so long. Watch. It's so rad. So as you breathe, as you need air, it pumps you air. When you don't need air, it doesn't. It's like, you know, the new cars that they, they turn themselves off at a stoplight to save gas. This thing does that to save battery and that's why you get over an hour per battery. I've got three batteries, so technically I have three hours of dive time. And let me tell you, I will tap out before this thing taps out. And as far as features go, as far as the, the stuff of the unit, that's, that's kind of it. It's really simple. That's that's kind of the joy. <laughs> A little dive flag. That's kind of the joy of this system, and that's why I was so excited to get it. Is the whole thing? The whole thing fits in this my charging cable. The whole thing fits in this backpack. Bink, bink, bink. You throw it in there. You take it on your trip or keep it in your car. Boom, ready to dive on a five minute notice. Yeah, the key here, the key with this whole system, the, the reason that I was so excited about it and that I actually reached out to this company and said, hey, can I, can I play with your toy? <laughs> is that it's simple. If you can imagine traveling, if you can imagine being somewhere like Hawaii, like Costa Rica, like Thailand or Bali. Oh my gosh, this would have been so cool in Thailand. Being able to just hop in the water, go diving by yourself for an hour is is kind of amazing. And you're not super deep, you're only 10 feet deep, so it's not, it's not ridiculously dangerous. It is a little dangerous though. If you're gonna buy one of these, make sure that you go through their little course online. There's some few things that you do need to learn just to keep yourself safe. Diving in general, you're breathing air underwater. It's a little dangerous. Okay, I got my dive mask. I got my, 
think I'm just gonna run some bodyboard fins today. I'm not gonna run dive fins. And then I am gonna run a weight belt because the water is very cold, so I will be wearing a wetsuit. So a weight belt is gonna help hold me down. But this, this is all I need to go to go diving. That's that's unique. Any of you scuba divers out there right now, I'm sure are thinking, well, 10 feet deep, that's silly. But you're also probably thinking, that is that is not very much gear. Okay, it's still pretty early. I'm gonna go wake the girls up, see if if they're ready to go to the beach, and then and then we'll go to La Jolla. Here we go. Say, hey, do you wanna go to the beach? Can, can you say beach? That's not beach. Say, let's go to the beach. Nah, it's close. Mm. All right, we're at La Jolla Cove, and uh, there's a ton of sea lions in the cove. I feel like there's there's not usually this many sea lions in the cove. Yeah, it says do not approach the seals. All right, we're gonna get posted up on the beach, get this thing set up, and then uh, go swim with sea lions, I guess. so much fun taking this thing out there. I uh, I was able to stay under, I think I stayed out there for like 40 minutes or so-ish. The battery was only at half full though, so I'm not sure. I think it only lasts a little over an hour. I haven't done the full hour yet. Being underwater diving for an hour, that's a long dive. Also, I didn't, I didn't bring enough weight. Totally my fault, but if you're wearing no wetsuit, uh, just a little bit of weight will sink you. You might not even need weight to be able to sink. But for me, with that big wetsuit on, it was a it was a four three. Six pounds was not enough weight. So apparently, I need to go get more weight thingies or just heavier heavier weights. Maybe I'll get two fives instead of two twos, and we'll see if ten pounds will sink me. The ideal there isn't to sink as much as it is to to find neutral buoyancy, which means that if you did nothing, you just were breathing normally, you you just kind of bob in the water, you don't sink, and you don't rise. That's the right amount of weight that you want on your weight belt. For this thing though, it, it did its job. This whole thing, I got the whole thing set up in, in just over two minutes. Two minutes and one second, I was able to go from, from this in the bag to brrp, boom, ready to go. That's impressive. The pack up was probably about the same, maybe two, three minutes. And with this system, you can, you can go cruising around anywhere you want, Hop in the water. Two minutes later, you are hookah scuba diving. Oh, after salt water, give the whole thing a rinse. Everything in there, I mean, anything in general. Salt water, rinse it. Yeah, the harness, super comfortable, nothing. I don't, I don't really have a lot of things that I would say negative about this. Like, usually I have thoughts of like, ooh, if they did this, it would be better. The only thing I could say is I do wish the hose was longer. 10 feet is cool, and I think there's probably some rules on how long a hookah could be, or maybe the compressor would need to be more powerful if the hose was longer, but I think 20 feet would be amazing. If I could go 20 feet down and stay at 20 feet, I don't think I would ever need to go scuba. 20 feet is pretty deep. And there's usually a lot to see at 20 feet. Just at 10 feet today, I was able to chill with the fish at the bottom, the, the Gerbaldis and, and sea lions that were that were circling around me. I was able to hang out with them. But again, I would say maybe maybe 15 feet? We'll compromise there, we'll go, we'll go five extra feet. A 15 foot hookah, even on this thing, would be even 
even cooler. But I'm gonna keep playing with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what other spots, what other spots in San Diego I can get it to. I'm not I'm not sure when they want this thing back. I don't think they gave it to me. I'm pretty sure this is a loner device, so I only get it for a little bit, but but boy, would I love to go travel with this thing. I really wish that the, the country was open and we could just go shoot off to Hawaii or shoot off to Costa Rica, somewhere really cool. Maybe go down to Mexico where there's all those dive spots over by Cancun. Yeah, this thing is rad. And the fact that it's airline friendly just makes it hurt my heart even more that we can't fly anywhere. But in the meantime, I am gonna go take it to a few more spots in San Diego and then, and then yeah, we'll see. We'll see when they ask for this thing back. I hope they don't ask for it anytime soon. I'm having a lot of fun with it. That? Oh, the drone. Okay, I'll tell you in the next video. This is a very long video already. I don't want it to drag on. It's, I'll tell you in the next video. It'd be great. Worth the wait, maybe. No, we'll see. Try hard, take chances, huh?